objective of this video is to understand variable declaration using var, let and const. Also to understand what is a block scope. In order to demo this example for var, let and const, I'm going to use a website called StackBlitz. This particular website is very popular among the developers for online editors for different languages including TypeScript, also for the libraries and frameworks like React and Angular and building static website or RxJS. So since we are focusing on TypeScript, I'm going to click here on TypeScript. Automatically, it will navigate you to an editor that will have TypeScript. Uh, it will always generate with a basic code. But since we are going to demo the variable declaration, I'm going to remove the existing code. Now, the first way of declaring a variable in JavaScript is var. Now, when I say JavaScript, because since TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript, any variable declaration step that is available in JavaScript also available in var. Now, var is a simple way of declaring JavaScript from ages. So, I just put it to var, then the variable name equal to. Let's print this on console. Let's see the output on the browser. Now here you can see since I'm using stack blitz, which is continuous integrating the code and printing it on the console, it is showing me three sample messages. Let me clean this up and save this again. So sample message is printed here. Now variable declaration using var is very simple. So we have var message and you can directly assign any value to it. So if I want to assign a number value, so I'll var, I can assign it like this. But there is a problem with var. Now, traditionally, all the programming language consider this opening, closing, curly braces as a scope. So if I write a if statement like this, Everything that is present within these two curly braces is considered as a scope and that particular statement will be executed only if this particular condition mentioned in the parenthesis is true. Now, the problem with the var is that if I declare a variable inside this scope, it can leak out of this scope. So if I have declared a variable like antiVal inside this block scope with var, I can simply access it outside the scope. So you can see sample message. This one is getting printed. Along with that, the var which is declared within a block of two curly braces is again declared as a number, but I can access that particular value outside the block scope now someone would say what is the problem in this a variable declared at somewhere can be accessed at anywhere but if a developer declares a same named variable inside the block and outside the block this can create a problem and the values will get intermingled and that would create unnecessary complications for our program so in order to avoid this with the es6 version of javascript a new type of variable declaration came in that is let so let is similar to where but difference is let is block scoped so if a variable is declared within the curly braces it will remain there it will not be accessible outside that block scope so here i have declared the let variable let int val equal to 100 now earlier this int val was available and its value was getting printed but as soon as i declared this variable as a let variable it threw an error here and an error is printed here error int val is not defined now this is happening because of the block scope so the let and var have the same way of variable declaration but 
only reference is var is unscoped variable whereas let is a scoped variable so it has a scope if it is defined within a particular block of curly braces let's take an example of for loop to demo it again so if i declare a variable using var start with i is equal to 0 i is less than now in this example i have declared a variable var i equal to 0 now this variable i is available here but it is also available outside the block so let me add some string here to distinguish it more Now, variable with var keyword i is declared here within the for loop and it is getting printed using this statement within the for loop but it is also getting printed outside the for loop. So, here you can see inside 0 to 2 but outside 3. That means whatever the value that is present in that block scope is not only available within that block scope but also outside that block scope now in order to avoid this i can simply change a way to declaration using let now you can see as soon as i declare this variable as let the values inside 0 to 2 is getting printed but outside this console statement is giving an error error is not defined so you will get a lot of interview questions on var and let now third way of declaring a variable is using a keyword called const using the keyword we can declare a constant variables now a constant variable means when you declare that variable the reference to that variable will remain the same that means if it is a string or a number the value cannot be changed so in this example let's see const now here you can see i have created a constant variable and using the const keyword and assigned it a value this is a string value now if i want to change the value of this variable it won't allow me to do it so here you can see it gave immediately an error assignment to a constant variable so when we are declaring a constant variable and a specific string or a number is assigned to it reassignment is not possible but this is not the case in case of object so if i declare a const variable with an object okay i can declare a variable value like this const my obj here i'm declaring a simple json object here now if i want to change the value of this data then i can do it why because it is checking the reference and the reference is assigned to this given object not to this particular variables value that is present within that object if i try to change the assignment for this my obj then it will fail and give an error now here you can see now it is giving the same error that we have earlier seen assignment to constant variable is not possible and also the constant variable declaration is blocked scope that means a variable declared within that scope will remain within that particular curly braces scope it will not leak out so only the var variable which is declared within a curly braces scope can leak out i hope you have understood this video if you have any questions please put them in comment do subscribe and thank you